Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another gear raffle and review. Today, we're going to take a look at Sea to Summit's compression dry sack. So, let's get right into it. All right, guys, uh, we're going to take a quick look at this compression dry sack. I don't have a whole lot bad to say about this. We used um, two of these, Sharon carried one and I carried one, for our whole through hike. So let's jump into the package. Taking a look at this, uh, we actually got the small, and the small's weight is supposed to be four and a half ounces. And when I weighed it, I only came up with four ounces. So very rarely do you ever see a piece of gear that when you weigh it, it weighs less than they actually say it weighs. All right. Out of the bag, guys, I mean, if you go over these with a fine tooth comb, you're going to find that all of the stitching is well done. All of the clips and stuff are well made. Um, we carried ours the entire trip, like I said, and here it is. Proof of proof that it survived. It doesn't look as good as it used to. And you can see it looks like maybe this is fraying a little bit, but it's really not. It's just, you know, some fiber sticking out of it from being rubbed against and stuff. These things definitely hold up. Sea to Summit makes some great gear and it does kind of show in the price. And that's going to be one of my cons in this is there's a lot of cheaper options out there for um, stuff sacks or dry bags and stuff. These guys may be a little expensive, but it is worth the cost because they're a really good product. Now, when we were looking for uh, stuff sacks, we were looking specifically for dry bags for using this for our sleeping bag. Now, that is what these stuff sacks are good for is for anything that you need to compress. There is no reason, in my opinion, to buy one of these higher quality dry stuff sacks if you're just looking for a dry bag. If you're just looking for something that's waterproof, there's no reason to spend the extra money on the compression bag. Uh, the only reason to buy this is if you do want something compressed. Now, this is my tent, uh, and this will even compress down smaller than this. Uh, and the regular tent bag is, you know, you can see the size that you're saving by compressing them down. If you're looking for just waterproof, I mean, your best option, in my opinion, is to, is to do like Ziploc bags. You can get gallon or two gallon Ziploc bags. Um, for certain things if you're doing just some extra clothes or your socks and stuff and you can't you know compress them into another compression sack or especially electronics or anything that you're not going to want to squeeze there's no sense getting this type of bag because it's a little bit expensive and there's a lot of cheaper alternatives when ordering one of these bags um, for the raffle like I said we went with the small you'll be surprised how well you can pack things down uh, and they're more expensive the bigger that you get. Now, if you want to make sure you have enough room and you want to get the bigger size, you know, go right ahead. And I'm going to do a show a couple pictures of things before and after packing them down. You can see that even my 40 degree sleeping bag is pretty big inside of its original stuff sack. Now for the compression bag. I find it helps to remove as much air as you can before rolling the bag closed. Then with the rubber side of the seal away from me, I roll away from me and then clip the bag closed. Before compressing, the bag is similar to the regular stuff sack, but then afterwards it is definitely much smaller. So you may want to actually order one that fit just like a small or one that you think will fit your stuff uh, without going too big. One of the features is this, this event, um, which is actually on the bottom of the bag. This material on the bottom actually allows air to go out without allowing water in. I was skeptical of this at the beginning. I thought if air can get out, water can get in. And surprisingly, it does work. Uh, when you're packing your gear in here, if you think about this being airtight and you're jamming more and more gear in there, you're gonna trap some air at the bottom and you won't be able to get that all out. With this, it actually allows the air to slowly seep out from the bottom, allowing you to pack it and pack it and pack it and pack it and have the air 
kind of seep out through the bottom and allow you to get it even smaller. And we had no problems with that working and working well and getting things wet. It works really good. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, quick, simple review for a nice, simple, but well-made piece of gear. And it is time for the raffle. I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, guys, remember, if you guys are not familiar with the way this works, I have a Patreon site. Any of the members on the Patreon site, we pull our money together, we buy gear, I review it, I draw a winner and send it off to you guys. So the link for the Patreon site is right here. If you wanna get involved in these raffles, head on over there and uh, for as much as a dollar a month, you can get entered in every single raffle. But enough blabbering, it is time to draw the winner of the Sea to Summit Dry Compression Sack. And the winner is... Number, 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 number 15. And number 15 is... Daphne Redwell. Daphne Redwell, congratulations. You have won yourself a Sea to Summit Compression Dry Sack. Before you guys go, uh, some of you guys have been commenting on the t-shirts that I wear in these videos. Well, really, I was running out of fun t-shirts to wear, so I thought I'd look around online and see if I can find a spot to, to get some new t-shirts. And I found a really cool site. The guy makes some uh, pretty original t-shirts. I haven't seen anything like them. Got this one from there, and if you guys want to go, it is Shirt Man Dude. Uh, there'll be a link in the description and on the banner of my YouTube channel, there'll be a, a button you can click there to go to his website. Tell him the Hiking Viking sent you. That's going to do it for this video, guys. And remember, these reviews, well, like, are just my opinion, man. <laughs> and if you don't like it, you can go take a hike. Bye-bye. I like it, I dig it, I want more of it.